and even though I don't want to get into ethics and morality so much right now, this is how Plato says we make value judgments. When I see a tree out, outside, because I have this ideal concept of tree, I can say that is an excellent tree, that is a mediocre tree, and that is a substandard tree. What am I basing that on? This template in my mind. When I bought this coffee mug, I was using the platonic ideal. And I'm comparing the template in my mind of what the ideal coffee mug is to what I'm seeing in this nice little boutique shop. And as you can see, this comes very close <laughs> to the platonic ideal. Could, could I borrow someone else's? With this idea of the ideal coffee mug, this template in my mind, I can evaluate other mugs, I can evaluate other people, I can evaluate buildings, I can evaluate chairs. Um, these chairs are kind of utilitarian, they are functional, but as far as approximating the platonic ideal of chairhood, no, not even close, right? But we, we couldn't afford platonic chairs at this school at this time. So aren't all these I'm ideals use that again. aren't all these ideals subjective though? So what's ideal to me might not be ideal to No. <laughs> these are objective. And this is what drives people crazy. But because what if two people are debating about these coffee containers? And someone says, no, Black, and this is obviously so much better. It's more durable. Um, it's gonna keep it warm. I can attach it to my belt. I mean, there's so many advantages, practical utilitarian advantages of this, whatever it is, compared to this mug. Now, this may be more aesthetically pleasing. There's the handcraftedness, all, all of that sorts of thing. But you say, that's just your subjective impression. <coughs> but he would say this goes way beyond mugs or trees or people, even into things like the good, the true, the beautiful. He would see those as absolute, eternal, and objective, and synonyms. The good, the true, and the beautiful. Those aren't perspectival. Beautiful is not relative. It's not in the eye of the beholder. He would say it's you have approximated as closely as humanly possible to that ideal of beauty. What do you guys think?